Welcome to Exotic Astrology, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the most electrifying month of this year, 2020, because this is the month where we have four planets retrograde, especially from 18th to 25th of June because Mercury will also be retrograde. And this is the month where Venus turns stationary and goes direct in Rohini Nakshatra in Taurus. And by end of June 30th, almost night of 30th, Jupiter re-enters Sagittarius. So therefore, this is a very, very, very interesting and a very crucial month of this year. In fact, a lot of changes will happen in your life during this period, all right? And let me give you the dates, which dritpanchang.com says. So Mercury will be retrograde on 18th June 2020 and uh, July 12th it uh, goes direct. And uh, yes, then again on October, November it will go okay uh, retrograde. And then I've also made videos on the eclipse, which is there, okay. So therefore, if you have not watched this uh, eclipse video, then I will put it down in the description section, okay? So please watch it and that will give you a lot of clarity. Uh, I'm just searching the date exactly for solar eclipse 2020, bigpanchang.com. And this eclipse is very prominent because this is happening very closely, okay? On 21st June, there is the eclipse, okay? So the degrees are very, very, very close actually. Okay? So sun, moon are very close with Rahu. It's like almost three to four degrees. So therefore, this eclipse will start a lot of new beginnings in your area of your horoscope where there is Gemini, okay? According to your ascendant, not your uh, moon sign or not your any other sign, sun sign chart. Okay, it's your lagna chart, ascendant chart. And primarily, uh, we will see during this month, uh, depending on your dashas, uh, the focus energies will be going backwards. Okay, so this means you will try to redo stuff which you had tried to do once upon a time, but you did not succeed or you succeeded but now you feel that there is another uh, there's a second try which is required okay and saturn as you know is continuing uh, its journey in uh, capricorn and he is also retrograde in uttarashada and rahu maharaj has entered mega shira nakshatra <laughs> and <clears throat> ketu is still hovering around in mula nakshatra and Jupiter, by the end, as I said, will again enter Sagittarius. So this is very crucial, actually. So you would have felt since the time Jupiter entered Capricorn, almost some time back, some months, uh, that the houses which Jupiter rules in your chart, they have gone for a ride because ride means there could be a sense of despondency regarding those houses. Or, or I would say there could have been a sense of despondency or a sense of anxiety or a sense of hopelessness, helplessness regarding those houses. Because whenever a planet goes into debilitation, it is like saying uh, the word used for debilitation is niche. Okay? Uh, niche avastha, then exaltation is uccha avastha. So niche means less confidence, low confidence, low self-esteem, doubting oneself or not, no, not having external opportunities, okay, which can manifest internally. So the houses which Jupiter rules in your chart, it's very crucial to see that because by the time uh, June end approaches, you will see, uh, depending on your dashas, okay, you will see that uh, the things which you are not confident about, the things which were bogging you so much, they are now coming back. They are there, uh, you are, or I would say you are going back actually to them. Okay, so either ways, either they come back or you go back. Okay, so if Jupiter is, is your 10th lord and you are suffering uh, from some career problem uh, from the last two, three months, or last one or two months, I would say precisely, then uh, now it can happen that you get new opportunities in your career. Okay, if Jupiter is your seventh lord, it can happen that. New avenues for, uh, if you're not married, then uh, new avenues for getting married 
can open up or if you're already married then your relationship might have seemed a bit hopeless then you might get opportunities to improve your existing married life okay so this is how you can see and the focus energies are uh, shifting uh, from uh, Taurus to Gemini so therefore uh, now because this eclipse is happening actually in uh, this Mega Shira Nakshatra so therefore um, it's very crucial to understand Mrigashira. So I have made videos on Rahu entering Mrigashira and also for the eclipse. Okay, so please watch them. Uh, I will pin that here or here in the by the end of the video. So they will give you more clarity. And this eclipse is in the uh, sign of Gemini. So Gemini, as you know, is the sign of communication. So uh, you will see now many new and new ways of communication. They will start so many times uh, from last two months. In fact, many people have messaged me that uh, there's a huge boom in uh, online uh, learning in e-learning. And in fact, there are some uh, experts who have been predicting that uh, this online teaching industry e-learning will go up to like uh, 1 billion dollars 1 billion US dollars so uh, e-learning is uh, like going to be the biggest uh, biggest industry now okay so this is a very good time if you are planning to launch a course or if you are planning to get into social media if you are if you already have a business you want to take it to the next level this is the best time to do that okay or or if you have any idea which you want to put forward you can start in youtube so if you're planning to start in youtube you can uh, do it in a sthira nakshatra you can do it in rohini nakshatra or uh, you can uh, do it in uttar bhadra pada or you can do it in uttar shada or you can also do it uh, in nakshatras like pushya and revati are also excellent okay although they are not sthira nakshatras you can also do it in hasta nakshatra okay so therefore uh, if you're planning then this is a very good time around the eclipse you can start please start it after the eclipse okay so if there's anything which you want to do don't do it uh, before the eclipse start it after okay so therefore you should have a plan in mind that yes this is how i will execute and uh, uh, this mrigashira energy will be very prominent during this month because <clears throat> this major transits and the eclipse is happening around Mrigashira. So Mrigashira is the uh, endless quest for uh, search actually. It's like uh, you want to search something actually. What you are searching? Sometimes you also don't know. <laughs> or you are searching something and you get something but you want even more. So that insatiation, uh, that what do they say, insatiable hunger, that uh, craving is there. Okay. So that will depend on more uh, which uh, house Gemini is falling in your horoscope, okay? So therefore, this is a good time to uh, search new, new things in your life. So for example, uh, if you are into IT like me, so then you can learn new technologies. So you can uh, change, uh, you can diversify your domain basically. And if you are into YouTube or if you are into any, any, any kind of online arena, this is a very good time. Uh, to experiment with different topics so suppose you have a youtube channel you have made videos on certain topics but now you want to uh, diversify yourself a bit. so now is a good time you can uh, search uh, you can make some new playlists and you can try to see if they are getting views okay and then apart from this uh, if you are into any kind of education sector then this is probably the best time also uh, those who are into writing or social media or YouTube, Facebook, all this Instagram or blogging or recording videos and you know, sharing content basically because Gemini is the original third house which shows a sharing of content. So therefore, uh, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever is your age, whatever, irrespective of your gender or nationality or whatever your age, irrespective of anything, you should now share information. So because whatever you share that uh, sharing is like because see what happens when you share something which is the house opposite of the third house third house is the house of sharing so ninth house is the opposite house to third house so ninth house is the house of knowledge getting knowledge and third house is what you give okay. so whenever you activate the third house you also kind of activate the ninth house so whenever you share something you will also learn something new this you will always see 
So therefore, always share new stuff with people. Whenever you get something, share it. So suppose uh, you have got some uh, new astrology prediction technique. So then you can share it with others. You know, check ten horoscopes, make ten videos, or at least make one video and share it. Or you can send it to me if you have uh, made, got some new prediction technique. You know, I can also post it to my community page that. Uh, Mr. So and so, or Mrs. or whoever has given me this technique, uh, and uh, according to their research, this works. So you can always send a mail to me uh, by uh, expressing your uh, techniques. Okay, so you but you you have to make sure you do it properly. So you have to make sure that you have seen it, uh, it has worked, and uh, only then you should send it to me. And then you will get you are gradually seeing now that this uh, restaurant business is gradually picking up the tourism industry because now this mega shira is totally related to tourism and now uh, it's rahu actually so rahu is a natural malefic he does not do things in a standard way so mega shira is about meeting people meeting new people okay so <clears throat> Therefore, when Rahu enters Mrigashira, it will not be that you are just going and having a cup of coffee or you are going to some restaurant. It will happen in a different way, unusual way. Like uh, I was shocked to see yesterday uh, some of my friends from my engineering college. You know, they are doing these uh, Instagram lives by four or five people together. So it's like, uh, no, sorry, not Instagram live. I, I don't know what that is, but you know, there are like four people there. So. It's like they are meeting the old college friends, and you know, I, I was like shocked. I mean, they are they are they are meeting like this, you know, online. <laughs> so this is what Rahu does in Megashira. You know, he completely changes everything. And now I was uh, in conversation with a person who is having a big uh, hotel here. So you are also telling me that now uh, he is going to shift to more uh, online base because so, because. Imagine there is again some new crisis or disaster, tomorrow there is earthquake or tsunami. So that their business can continue online, so now they will focus online. So when Rahu was in Ardhra, then you saw this, uh, because of this virus, you know, there was this technology related to home office, okay. So these, these industries had the biggest boom that they, have, they had ever seen in the last you know, 20 years. So because Ardhra is related to technology, so people people understood what is the importance of technology and to use technology properly. So now in Mrigashira, people will understand the meaning of uh, using technology to meet people, meet new people, derive new ideas, uh, to track things actually. Okay, So because Mrigashira always has a tendency to track or stalking. So Amanji from Aman Devi Astrology had made a very beautiful post on Mrigashira Nakshatra. So you can search that out. Okay. And then Mercury is getting retrograde on 18th and Venus is getting direct on 25th. So therefore the Mar Mercury Venus energies are also uh, going to be very dynamic. Okay. So the houses which Mercury rules in your chart, something from the past will come back. You will see. And uh, because uh, this retrogression is happening along with Jupiter and Saturn and C, you have to understand what Mercury is. Mercury is the original third lord. He is the main communicator. So, whenever there is retrogression of any planet, either it's Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, or Venus, okay, unless Mercury goes retrograde, you will not feel the effects. So, when Mercury goes retrograde, you will actually feel the houses related to Jupiter, Saturn, and Venus are also kind of getting retrograde, which means things from the past are also coming back. Okay? So, for example, I made that video about our uh, Venus uh, tra transit in Rohini Nakshatra. So that also I will post it here, uh, in the here there. You can see that. So in that I said that uh, during this uh, month of uh, April, during Akshatritya time, uh, mid of April, this Venus was in Rohini. So there are certain things related to the houses which Venus rules in your chart. You are doing. And you are trying to uh, make new grounds, new foundations, because Brahmaji is related to Rohini, and Rohini is also Dhruva Nakshatra. So you are trying to go ahead. Okay. So now also, uh, now you will see when from 18th Mercury turns retrograde, those things will actually start. Okay. And uh, Saturn is also retrograde, and uh, therefore it is with Jupiter, so this entire month. 
So, uh, Saturn Jupiter conjunction is a very beautiful conjunction if it is used properly. So, therefore, this entire month Jupiter Saturn will be conjunct. So, therefore, uh, you should always try to figure out how to bring optimism in the houses which Jupiter, uh, Saturn rules in your chart, not Jupiter, Saturn, okay? Because Jupiter is the natural Karaka for optimism and he's going back to his multi-con sign Sagittarius. Okay, fantastic time this is uh, from July actually, uh, for, related to the houses which Jupiter rules in your chart, okay? So therefore, you can see that uh, the houses which Saturn rules in your chart, you are redoing something. Okay, and that requires a lot of discipline because this is the sign of Capricorn and till the time Jupiter is there, you will feel that uh, I, I can open up new doors, new opportunities. Okay, So therefore, uh, this month is very crucial. If you, I would say some keywords for this month. It's like uh, meeting new people, uh, but by unusual means. Okay, not like because of this lockdown and all this. Then. Uh, it's booming off in the tourism industry as now you have seen like uh, somebody told me in India they have now started these domestic flights and international flights they will resume very soon okay so this is what will happen gradually you will see uh, when this mega shira eclipse gets activated okay uh, but a word of caution because it's Rahu in mega shira and Rahu is very unpredictable so always maintain social distancing when you go because Rahu is now it's very unpredictable. Today he's like, okay, all the lockdown is over. And then tomorrow suddenly, again, there's lockdown because the crisis may go high or all right. So even if you're going outside for any reason, please wear your mask, please wash your hands, sanitizer and all this, please do it properly, all right? Don't put yourself into distress, okay? And then sun will also go from Taurus to Gemini. So this is a good time to meet, socialize and eat good food, eat nice food, communicate, share your knowledge. So these are the things which you can do. And Ketu is also uh, hovering around in Mula Nakshatra. Okay. So therefore, uh, Ketu's transit in Mula is a very good time to do spiritual activities as you have been doing for a long time. And uh, because now this eclipse is going to be there, and uh, Sun, Moon, Rahu, they will be conjunct. So therefore, around 21st August, you will feel, uh, 21st June, you will feel that uh, this Rahu Ketu axis has become totally activated. So wherever Rahu Ketu, wherever the Gemini Sagittarius axis is in your horoscope, you will feel there is a strong desire to create something new because ec uh, solar eclipse always brings out something new. And lunar eclipse can uh, help you adjust your consciousness according to what is required. So, therefore, uh, focus on Gemini. Give out knowledge, give out information, but do not forget Sagittarius. Okay, And um, therefore, it's very crucial that you do your spiritual practices and uh, follow whatever your government has said. Because remember, sun and moon gets eclipsed by Rahu. Okay, so... It can happen that you are not wanting to listen to the government. So do not do that. So whatever the government is saying, please obey to it, okay? At least for this month. <laughs> Which means if they are saying that uh, there should be lockdown, then follow it. Or if they're relaxing it, do it. But do it at a steady pace, okay? Don't just do it, do it haphazardly, all right? And this will vary more if you have planets already in Mrigasriya Nakshatra, okay? Or if you have planets, uh, even in Rohini, then this will be very important, all right? So uh, I can speak for more time, but I would uh, request you to watch these other videos, okay? Rahu's transit in Mikashira and this Venus and then this eclipse, all right? Thank you very much for your patience and your time and wish you all the best for this month. And if you are new to the channel, then please like this video and subscribe. And if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit, personalized for your own horoscope depending on your dashas then please go to my website down in the description section okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him